Welcome back everyone to Small Tuber News. I'm your host, Gator the Legend, and I'm here to get you caught up on all the news and drama involving your favorite small tubers. The first story of the day comes from up and coming small tuber named Beauty Rediviner, currently enjoying over 80 subscribers. Recently, Beauty Rediviner has come to terms with the realization that she is indeed going bald. Going bald is something the Gator is not sure he would ever be capable of coming to terms with. Instead of trying to fight her impending fate, Beauty decided to embrace it and made the decision to shave her head. She then left us with a video explaining her journey and of the impact of what she had done. All right, so I am bald. People have been really supportive on YouTube and Instagram for my new look um, and the journey that I'm going through and the choice that I've made. I feel very uncomfortable, a little vulnerable. I think it started because I saw a picture of myself. Someone took a candid picture of myself while I was teaching um, English. I just had the feeling like, who is that? That's not me. That's not me. I look so different. Where's my hair? I miss my hair. I miss the way that I used to look. And, and I'm processing all these different feelings and this quote unquote new person that I am, this, this freedom I've given myself to step into my femininity in a new way and the, the confident woman that I am. But that's where I'm at right now and I wanted to share that with you guys who you've all been so supportive on this journey and that's just where I'm at right now. I absolutely love seeing this level of bravery from a small tuber. Every day we show the world who we are. We share our highs and our lows with anyone who is willing to listen. For us small tubers of the world, this isn't just some act. We like to show our fans our true selves, who we really are, not just our characters. Beauty, I commend you for your bravery and honesty. I love your haircut. Just don't tell the wife. Seriously though, she will fucking kill me. Our next story is a truly tragic one, coming from rising small tuber Nobody's Travels, who currently sits just under 3,000 subscribers. My livelihood was stolen out of my truck last night. I've never had an issue with anything in any context getting stolen from me where I live. It's easy to forget sometimes how quickly our lives can be turned upside down. He goes to bed every night in a neighborhood he has not only chosen to live in, but that he trusts. Never seen any sign of thievery before, he believed nothing was going to happen. But then disaster struck. He woke up to find that a bunch of expensive equipment was stolen right out of the bed of his truck. My $600 backpack blower, <clears throat> gone. My... $225 uh, steel combi motor head, gone. My $180 weed eater head attachment, gone. My $180 edger attachment, gone. My brand new chemical sprayer that I bought four days ago, I've used it twice, fucking gone. As he read off the list with every item, my heart sunk deeper and deeper. Why must we as a species solve our issues by causing issues for others? With every heart being capable of love, such a despicable act is hard to accept. At the end of the day, what can he even do about a crime such as this? Call the police department. Try to make a report. Well, if you don't know who did it, there's not much we can do for you. Wow, fucking amazing. Those sworn to serve and protect having such little regard for a victim of a crime is so fucking heartbreaking. To hear they have given up before even trying, to know that you are up a creek without a paddle. Me trying to go out and make an honest living uh, sure doesn't really seem like it's worth it. But now I can't go out and make an honest living. I'm now unemployed because I don't have any fucking equipment. That's right, folks. That equipment is the difference between him having a job or not. All we can do is show our support and hope somewhere, somehow, these thieves have a crisis of conscience and return what they have stolen. Over the past week or so, I have been very fortunate to watch not only one, but two of my favorite people cross over 1,000 subscribers. First up, we have the one, the only, up and coming small tuber, Yolo Caboose. 
That's right, people. YKB himself has hit over a thousand subscribers. I could not be more excited and pumped. A lot of you may not remember this, but Caboose was the first small tuber I ever made a story on for Small Tuber News. And he deserves every single one of his thousand subs and more. Congrats, my friend. Next up, we have Rising Small Tuber, best friend in your thread, also known as my personal BFF. Congratulations, best friend. You have earned it. I am so and happy for you. I was honestly more excited when you hit 1,000 subscribers than when I did. I've said this a few times now and I have meant it every single time. Best Friend has one of the greatest personalities on YouTube and she brings cheer and joy to everyone who watches her. Gator Knights, go and check these guys out and all the other small tubers I mentioned today and show them some support. Tell them the Gator sent ya. The last story of the day comes from one of my Gator Knights I follow on Twitter. Up and coming small tuber Emo Messiah currently with 14 subscribers. Emo Messiah tweeted my granddad is battling his fourth batch of cancer. First it was throat cancer, then it was testicular and prostate cancer, and now it's lung cancer. I hope he survives it, but I'm paralyzed by the thought they might find a fifth tumor after this. Of course there are no words to express how awful this is, how hard what you are going through must be. I only hope to be a shoulder if you need it, a friend in a time of need. We may by definition be strangers, but my DMs are open, and if you need to talk, I'm here. I've watched those close to me die quickly, and I've watched them take the long road. Both are awful and disastrous. The only solace we really have is knowing that they are passing, knowing how much they were loved. Emo Messiah, I hope the best for your granddad. I hope he can find his way through this into recovery. If not, I know you will be there to, uh, to support him and to remind him how much he is loved. And know that if you need it, I'll help however I can. Don't forget to stay tuned until the end of the video for our featured small tuber music creator. Today's music creator is a very, very special one. It's rising small tuber Ben Clock and his song, Deeper Love. For those of you who have been following me since way before small tuber news, you will recognize his song from my intro featured in over a hundred different videos. And if you want a story to be featured on Small Tuber News, hit me up, either in the comments below, on Twitter, at GatorTheLegend, or at Small Tuber News, or send me an email to GatorTheLegend at Yahoo.com, and you just may be mentioned on Small Tuber News. And if you never want to miss an episode, make sure that you subscribe with notifications on, because if you don't ring the bell, it's like you're not even subscribed at all. Thank you guys so much for joining me today, and until next time, I've been Gator the Legend, and this has been Small Tuber News.